Exchange Blade comprehensively tests all of our products to make sure they are top of the line. We also test them against the competitors to continually make sure our products are a cut above. The saw blade speed tester measures how fast a 7 and a quarter inch blade will cut through a 2 by 8 piece of lumber. The two major factors affecting how fast a ripping blade will cut are the design of the blade and how precise sharpening has been. Two different types of tests are done with this tool. The first is the performance test, where the blade is expected to complete the cut with no splinters or chipping. The next is the life test. This test is done on different types of materials such as MDF and melamine. This will measure how long the tungsten carbide blade will stay sharp under continuous use. How long a blade stays sharp is based on three major factors. Carbide hardness, quality and precision of grind, and material being cut. The knockoff tester is designed to ensure each carbide tip was brazed correctly. We test each and every tip on the blade. If one tip is loose or faulty, it compromises the entire blade. The Diamond Blade Life Tester is designated to test segmented and turbo diamond blades. The Dry Diamond Blade Life Tester gives us an accurate idea of how many times a diamond blade can cut concrete or stone products. Generally, our blades will cut more than a thousand times before any deterioration is noted. The Wet Saw Diamond Blade Tester is designed for two main reasons. The first test is the performance test, where we measure the speed and quality of the cut. The second test is the life test on different masonry products such as porcelain tile, sandstone and marble. Our product will cut at least 10,000 times before it gives a substandard cut. When it comes to saw blades, there are two major stresses. The first is heat stress. The second is vibration stress. The flatness tester is designed to measure how many thousands of an inch the plate is out of complete flatness. If the blade is substandard, it will heat up, vibrate, wobble, and so produce a less accurate cut. When it comes to sharpening, tooth geometry needs to be measured. The high-low tester is designed to measure all the different types of top grind. For example, the melamine blade's tips have two different heights, one height for scoring and the other height for cutting. So when testing this blade, we have two different heights to measure. The Rockwell hardness tester is one of the most important quality control tests. For any type of power tool accessories to pass the quality control test, a hardness test must be done. A successful result confirms that the product tested will not be negatively affected by heat under normal working conditions. Another important quality control step is to analyze the overall quality of sharpening and brazing by magnifying every single tooth. Any imperfections will become very apparent under the microscope. This is the TIR, or Total Indicator Runout Test. This measures the concentricity of the whole saw body. If it is not completely round, it will bind during cutting. This tool is designed to measure how fast a handsaw will cut. An accurate comparison test can be done from one shipment to the next because the human factor is eliminated. Screwdriver bits are also very important. Uh, we put them through a series of tests to make sure they exceed expectations. The torque tester will tell us exactly what the breaking point is for power bits and nut setters. The fatigue test is the second test done and it measures the expected life of the bit under realistic usage conditions. Putting our products through these tests ensures that our customers get the best quality and the most consistent results. All Exchange Blade products are fully guaranteed and our quality control process makes sure that they meet the highest standards of quality and performance. Thank you.